Avenida do Governador Jamie Severio Marquez. And this is going to be a street. There's a Chinese New Year truck right there. And when you go down this kind of busy boulevard, or this uh, rainy, large, wide boulevard, I guess we should say. Chiquinha. Chiquinha. Go check out the road. Hey, after you watch this, tell me what you like most about it. Put it in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can see when I make other videos too. Okay, let's start our little trip. So, um, so across the way, there's this new waterfront over there that um, has all these new things for kids. And actually, that one, that's, that's kind of trans transformed this neighborhood. There was a, kind of a big wall, and there's like a bunch of mangroves or some kind of stuff on the other side. And now they've completely transformed it. There's a... Um, like a science technology building for kids. It's like 13 stories of like different stuff everywhere. Um, like uh, stuff for, like science stuff for kids to explore. Down there is MGM Casino and there's some casinos down that way. And there's also cons some casinos over that way too. There's the Sands Casino. And this right here is part of NAEP. We're gonna go down this um, somewhat quiet boulevard at the moment, but it's um, I think it'll be changing up there. This little spot right here is a little bit more quieter. Here's some Chinese New Year stuff, 2022, Year of the Tiger is coming up. So um, the holidays are basically here. Um, the real holiday starts, I think, Monday night. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I believe, this year. It varies every year, of course. Um, they did, yeah. So anyways, China Construction Bank. That's an interesting name for a bank. Because there's a lot of construction. <laughs> I guess you need to get a lot of loans. So maybe that bank is kind of related to getting bank loans that originates in China, maybe Macau, to construct things? I don't know. Okay, so here's one of the, here's a Pizza Hut right here in the corner. One of the anomalies of this area called uh, NAPE, we're in NAPE, N-A-P-E, there's some casinos way down that way, is that all the side streets are named after um, European capitals. So we have Hua de Madrid, right here, and there's our street right there as well. So that's Hua de Madrid, another wide boulevard. So this particular area, that right there is gonna probably transform into something else. Um, that It's an empty lot. That's the, uh, down there is the, um, what do you call that one? The, uh, uh, do they have the operas and the theater for the, um, the stereotype is for the upper classes, right? So yeah, I can't remember the name of those things. Let's see, this is a bistro, Paper Moon. Paper Moon is a Thai restaurant. Yeah, they have this in Taipa as well. So I didn't know they had it here. Door out of order. Huh, okay. I didn't know Paper Moon was here. The one in Taipa is very, very popular, very busy. Um, the structure in Taipa is, is very different because there's a ton of uh, residential apartments. I think these are probably residential too, right here. But the energy in this area is, um, is a little bit different. Here's um Chinese one, I think. The energy in this particular area is um, like more like offices. So you'll see a lot more office attire in this area. Okay, here's another one of those streets. London Street. Hua de Londres. Everything's written in Portuguese, right? But the translation is um, London, of course. And then down that way, there's Sands Casino, that golden building in the distance. This one right here in the forefront is a school. K Yip. Cow Yip. Let's go to Madrid. Oh, we're just gonna walk all the way down. It's another Japanese one. There's a, Japanese food is very popular in Macau. Very popular. Oh, this is kind of like that Hong Kong style right there. Um, there's a woman right there at the door, so I don't want to pick my camera around her head. But if I did, that's like a Hong Kong style restaurant. Um, let's see hair salon it's another japanese one samurai fish so the samurai fish is um a chain one that's everywhere and they got them in taipa as well there's the uh, shown right there uh uh shown is a, pi a post a uh, pig a, whole, a full pig i didn't know they did that in um huh. And maybe there's a different name for it. Lashon is, um, they use it in uh, 
the Spanish-speaking countries and also in the Philippines. They call it the shone, like a full pig that's roasted and I think it's roasted. Okay, here's a real estate place. So walking down our giant boulevard here. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, this one, there's another wide boulevard that's parallel to this one, which is where I see a lot more corporate attire and corporate people coming up and down out of offices. This particular one, I think these are more maybe residential. They look a little bit more residential, this little strip. So it looks like they're more like, uh, like a residential area. Um, just to give some reference to NAEP, this is all on what, what used to be the ocean. So they, they reclaimed the land from the ocean. So they call it reclaimed land from the ocean. And then they, um, and that's why it's kind of this gritty pattern. So here's who had the Brussels, Brussels Street. So another capital, right? We had uh, Madrid, London, um, Brussels from Belgium, and the more wide boulevards. So these wide boulevards are because this was all created um, from reclaimed land and they were able to just flatten it out and have it, you know, no hills like the rest. Of, uh, most of Macau is built on islands, right? And peninsula, peninsular island kind of stuff. So there's more of a, um, uh, you know, going up and down hills and kind of turns and kind of you can get lost a little bit if you're not really sure where you are, um, stuff like that. But this particular area, here's a here's one, but this particular area is um, flat and it's all reclaimed. So they, they created some of the Japanese restaurant again, uh, Kachako 7 Eleven. Uh, let me see, this is like a school. Casa de Missy. And then here's another restaurant again. You got breakfast here. It's like a western style breakfast. Or a fusion style. Don't know where that's from. Pancakes with maple syrup. Huh, Sydney style. Okay, so this might be Australian. Payala, that's Spanish. So far all this Japanese beer. There's Payala, which is... Um, then here's something in German. So I guess it's kind of a big mix of different stuff. That one looks Korean, that style of cut. About, okay, that's kind of cool. I think I've walked by this one before. There's like some beautiful, yeah, life is short, he is good. That's a very popular place. As you can see, really nice, interesting range of foods. And So this one is called uh, Hood de uh, Paris. And there's a casino way down there, Sands, I believe. No, Sands is over there. So Sands is right there. And then down this one is, um, I believe it's Wind Casino. And this one is Paris. And that one says, uh, Hood de Paris. And then you have a little cafe right here, which is a little bit Parisian-like, I think. So you got some places to sit right there. You got some cafe, like a... Uh, you got like stone pot, like Korean stuff, Korean things. You got an American hamburger. So Uji Mart. Huh. Like a kind of interesting place. Creation Cafe. So you got cafe, coffee from, um, I think Blue Mountain is Jamaica. So I think Jamaica, Japan, American, hazelnut, caramel. Okay. So let's just keep on going down. Pharmacia. And we're almost near the end of this one. Of course, if we went to the other side of the street, we'd have a, a whole other thing again. You know, like you'd have a whole other experience. Let's just kind of take a look and see our straight boulevard. But yeah, this one, this whole area is um, Club China. I think this is like karaoke kind of place. Yeah. Um, this whole area has a bunch of karaoke places too. Predominantly focused on the Chinese market, which is 90% of the people in Macau anyways. And now we're kind of come out to the last one. This one is a, has a German street name. It's um, Hude, uh, 
Berlin. Berlin. And then we come and come out to this park at the end here. So we have this beautiful park. And that was our focus seat right there. So yep, so basically this is Zape. It's all reclaimed land from the ocean and they kind of added it to the other part, but this is a lot newer. They're able to do these giant grids like this and then where the other parts of the city, it's more, um, a lot of neighborhoods everywhere, which is really cool. This has more, you know, I guess these are all big block apartments, but, but uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting. If this was um, another city, like if we didn't have all that cool stuff over there, then everybody would probably be right here and this would be like some crazy cool downtown area that was so amazing. But as it is here, it's just like kind of more office buildings and restaurants and uh, some apartment dwellings in here. But it's not really the focus, but for some people it's the focus. Because some people like the karaoke clubs and this would be the area you go to. And there's a lot of like little offices, like if you do yoga, you might be down in this area as well because they'll have studios here. There's a lot of office space you can rent for kind of business kind of stuff. Anyways, that's our focus street. And we're gonna end it right there. Go check out the room. Oh, hey guys, three things. Like, subscribe, make some comments below. It'll really help out my channel. All right.